from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking youth's rights on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. India, the land of rich cultural diversity, proudly holds a heritage of various art forms, each showcasing the country's artistic prowess. Today in our show, we'll take you on a ride to Rajasthan's Udaipur, which recently celebrated Gavri Nritte, a dance drama festival. Let's have a look. Real India lives in its villages, and the people here preserve their folk traditions and cultural heritage. Gavari Nritte, a folk dance of Rajasthan, supports the statement at its best as the dance form gives a glimpse of India's rich cultural legacy. Travelling through villages wearing exotic, vibrant attire, the Gavari dance performers express their age-old folklore through singing and dancing around the streets to entertain the ruler public. The Gavari dance has long been practiced by the famous Bheel tribe of Rajasthan. As they go from village to village, for around a month, with distinct characters and a variety of stories, they express their traditional art form by enacting various episodes around a central spot consecrated to a deity. Following the festivity of Raksha Bandhan, the dance drama continues to enthrall locals as it runs for 40 consecutive days. गवरी जो है मेवाड़ का अनुष्ठानिक लोक नृत्य नाट्य है और ये राखी के दूसरे दिन से प्रारंभ होता है और 40 दिन तक चलता है बेसिकली इस नृत्य नाट्य का उद्देश्य ये है कि भील समाज के लोग जहां-जहां भी इनकी बेटियां या बहनें व्यायु हुई होती हैं उनके गांव में पशुधन में कोई बीमारी ना हो या किसी प्रकार की कोई आपदा ना आए तो इसलिए गवरी या गौरजिया माता की से प्रार्थना करते हैं कि वो लोग जो है संपन्न रहें और सुरक्षित रहें तो भारतीय लोक कला मंडल पिछले कई सालों से इन दलों को बुलाकर के यहाँ पर गवरी नृत्य करता है Dance, dramas are a great source of entertainment for ruler Rajasthan, drawing people of all ages and genders. Men, women, children and elderly people from their everyday lives to the streets. As per the Hindu mythology, this Bheel folklore is based on Lord Shiva and demon Bhasmasur. The play features four characters, God, human, demon and animal. During the play, the performers also create social awareness about cleanliness and girls' education. The tribal group consists of male artists who sometimes disguise themselves as women, putting on femininity to deliver the skit, making it more fun and lively. जो हमारे या हिंदू रीति रिवाज के साथ से जो परंपरा रीति वो कभी नष्ट नहीं होनी चाहिए इसको जीवित रखने के लिए हम ये खेल परंपरा से करते हैं। It is said the tradition has been followed for ages for societal welfare, wherein the tribal group follows intermittent fasting for 40 days. They also visit their married sisters and provide them with beautiful presents and money as gifts. हमारे को 25 साल हो गए हैं खेलने खेलते सभी पुरुष होते हैं जो जो ये व्रत की पालना कर जो देवी देवताओं के इष्ट पे रहते पैर में चप्पल नहीं पहनते और लीला सेवन मंदिरा ये कुछ निकालते सभी एक समान होते हैं कोई गाली गलौज लड़ाई झगड़ा की देश वेश कोई नहीं है तो सो एक समान होके ये गवर्ती नृत्य करते as there are many art forms yet to be explored. Moving on, 
let's introduce you to Madhya Pradesh's pride Rohini Ghavri, who comes from a marginalized Dalit family in Indore city. Rohini has set an example across the country for many girls like her who come from the deprived section of society as she delivered a powerful speech in Geneva, Switzerland, praising India for providing equal rights to marginalized people. Let's have a look. We Indian women are grateful to B.R. Ambedkar for giving us rights under the constitution, which mainly... The constitution of India not only embodies a written piece of documentation, but also reflects the deep commitment of the Indian people to democracy, secularism, and social justice. Speaking of social justice, the Indian constitution has several provisions that safeguard the rights of minorities and marginalized people and make them live with dignity. Rohini Ghavari of Madhya Pradesh state, who comes from a marginalized Dalit family in Indore city, is a living testament to the Indian constitution that provides equality to all. Three years ago, Rohini was provided with a scholarship of rupees 1 crore to pursue her PhD in marketing by the scheduled tribe department of India's Madhya Pradesh state, which she is about to complete now. Recently, Rohini praised India during the 54th session of the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva. जो संविधान हमारे देश का है वो हम हमारा एक रक्षा कवच है सभी वर्गों के लिए कि अगर आज कुछ भी अत्याचार अन्याय अत्याचार होते हैं एट्रोसिटीज होती हैं तो अगर दलितों पे होता है तो एससी एसटी एक्ट है उनके लिए और सभी वर्गों के के, के लिए ये आर्टिकल्स हैं जो रक्षा करते हैं उनकी तो हमारा संविधान इतना मजबूत है दो टुडे रोहिणी हैज बिकम एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर द एंटायर शेड्यूल कास्ट कम्युनिटी as it has sparked a light of hope among the marginalized section of society. Her journey could never have been accomplished without the support of her family, who fought against all the odds and mortgaged gold to aid her studies. Rohini's mother, Nutan Ghavari, who once worked as a sanitation worker at Employee State Insurance Corporation Hospital, talks about the change in society's behavior towards them. सर वो तो उस समय तो बहुत ही ना कि समान था सब मतलब लोग हमसे छुटछाट करते थे लेकिन आज तो सब बराबर के हो गए हैं कोई की वो नहीं चलती है सब एक संग बैठ के खाते भी हैं मतलब संग में रहना भी पसंद कर लेते ऐसी कोई बात नहीं आज के समय में छुटछाट खत्म हो गई उस समय था 1947 के समय के चलो भाई ब्राह्मण लोग हमको पास में नहीं और बहुत सारी बेटियां अब तो यही कह रहे हैं कि अब हम पढ़ेंगे अब हम रोहिणी जी दीदी जैसे ही बनेंगे The challenge for the family has always been huge and ensuring education for all four students was not an easy task for them The Indian constitution gave them hope and hope to overcome all difficulties as article 46 promotes the educational and economic interests of scheduled castes scheduled tribes and other weaker sections of society and seeks to protect them from social injustice and exploitation. Dalit Varghi ke beech mein jo 70 saal mein bhat badlaava hai aur wo apne aap mein bhemisaal hai. Usi ka ek pratek chudaran meri beti aur ab mera khud ka samaj aur mera khud hi ek udaran ho. Jaisa ki aapko maalum hai, mein sabhai karamchari varghi se aata hoon. Us mein jaisa ki aaj ye sab kuch चका चोर या थोड़ा सा अच्छा देख रहे थे ये बिटिया की वजह से हुआ उसको संविधान की वजह से ही एक करोड़ रुपए की स्कॉलर मिली और उसी के बाद हमारे में भी लाइफ में भी चेंज आया है सर रोहिणी ट्रूली इज एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर मेनी गर्ल्स हु कम फ्रॉम मार्जिनलाइज्ड फैमिलीज एंड सीक्स टू अचीव बिगर गोल्स इन लाइफ रोहिणी इज जस्ट वन एग्जांपल दैट रिफ्लेक्ट्स हाउ इंडियाज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैज प्लेड अ पिविटल रोल इन द अपलिफ्टमेंट ऑफ सोशली डिप्राइव्ड कम्युनिटीज And now, some of the stories that made news recently. India celebrated its 91st Air Force Day on October 8. The celebrations started with ceremonial parade at Bamroli Air Force Station in Prayagraj. A scintillating air display by various aircrafts was the hallmark of the celebration. Some of the major operations undertaken by the Indian Air Force includes Operation Vijay, Meghdoot, 
Cactus and Operation Pumalai. On this momentous day, the Chief of Air Staff V R Chaudhary also unveiled the new Indian Air Force ensign. The new Indian Air Force ensign has now been created to better reflect the values of the Indian Air Force. This reaffirmation will now be reflected by the inclusion of the Air Force crest in the top right corner of the ensign towards the fly side. Following India's outstanding performance with a tally of 107 medals at the Asian Games in China, Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacted with the contingent of athletes at Major Dhyan Chand Stadium in New Delhi. Calling them greatest of all time, he congratulated the athletes and later also persuaded them to fight against drugs. Jammu and Kashmir Rural Livelihoods Mission set up a millet hub cafeteria at premises of the district administration office in Srinagar. The aim is to provide employment to the women. Millet hub has been constructed by the public works department. The cafeteria has been handed over to women of self-help group members of the National Rural Livelihood Mission. Customers also appreciated the women who are working in the cafeteria. Moving on, let's walk you through the culturally rich state of India, Gujarat, which is currently busy preparing for its most popular traditional dance form, Garba, which is performed for nine consecutive nights to celebrate the nine avatars of the most revered Hindu deity, Goddess Durga. Let's have a look. Gujarat is often known for its festivals, rich culture. not to mention its folklore and folk dances which are world famous in spirit as the navratri festival approaches the state is busy preparing for its most popular folk dance garba garba festival in gujarat is a nine night celebration of the feminine divinity shakti or durga worshiping the nine form of goddess the garba dance is typically performed in a large circle with people dancing around a centrally lit lamp picture or idol of the goddess durga the devotees mainly dance to gujarati songs by rhythmically clapping and making graceful movements during the garba amid the festivity enthusiastic dance groups are striving to create something unique as a part of the pre navratri celebrations इंडिया का जो मेन मिशन है वो है वर्ल्ड कप जो इंडिया में अभी खेला जा रहा है जो बच्चों से लेकर बूढ़े तक इतना क्रेज है अपन को क्रिकेट में वो आप सब देख ही रहे हो आप सबको पता ही है और उसके साथ साथ नवरात्रि आ रही है मतलब उसका जोश क्रिकेट का जोश जो मिक्सअप हुआ है अभी जो माहौल जो बना हुआ है उसके हिसाब से देव गर्बा क्लासेज ने एक न्यू स्टेप इंट्रोड्यूस किया है वो है क्रिकेट स्टेप Cities like Rajkot, Ahmedabad, and Surat in Gujarat are the soul of the Garba festival, which surprises the state with its creativity every year by attracting throngs of tourists. Speaking of creativity, in a peculiar instance, a man in Ahmedabad created a unique attire for the nine-day festivity, as he embedded Chandrayaan three, the moon. Ram Mandir and Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the turban naming it a Ram Rajya Pagri मैं हर बार की तरह इस बार भी एक बहुत ही सुंदर मजा की पगड़ी लेकर आया हूँ और ये जो मेरी पगड़ी है उसका नाम है राम राज्य पगड़ी जो राम राज्य नाम पगड़ी मैंने इसीलिए रखा है क्योंकि उसमें मैंने राम मंदिर रखा हुआ है अपनी पगड़ी में और अपने जो नरेंद्र भाई मोदी है उनको भी रखा हुआ है इसका जो वजन है तीन से साढ़े किलो होता है और मैं नौ दिन यही पगड़ी और यही कॉस्ट्यूम पहन के खेलता हूँ ऑन दी ओकेजन ऑफ द प्री नवरात्रि सेलिब्रेशन Dance performers donned vibrant, colorful traditional attire and participated in the dance events. During the event, some socially conscious groups were also there, holding placards in hands and saying "No to drugs and tobacco," therefore creating awareness through the festival. 
आजकल की युवा पीढ़ी बहुत ड्रग्स में और वो सब में स्मोकिंग में खो गई है तो मेरी तरफ से ये छोटा सा संदेश है कि वो ड्रग्स और वो ना करें सरकार भी ट्राई करे और हम भी ट्राई थोड़ा बो, थोड़ा बहुत ट्राई कर रहे हैं कि लोग ड्रग्स से दूर रहे और उससे बहुत हेल्थ के लिए बहुत हानिकारक है ड्रग्स Festival like these resonates in the hearts of common people with joy and happiness while bringing stability to their lives. Meanwhile, it also serves as a platform for many who seek an opportunity to express their talents and creativity to the world. And now some of the major stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of world in focus BMX freestyle athlete rode and performed tricks in front of Paris's Eiffel Tower spinning their bikes and they launched mid-air as they trained ahead of the 2024 Olympic Games in hopes of snagging a coveted spot in the international competition Dozens of athletes have been training in France for months ahead of the Paris tournament, the second edition that features a BMX freestyle event after it debuted in 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. Among them is British athlete Karen Reilly, named UCI BMX Park 2023 World and Euro Champion, who is currently leading in points in the qualifier process. Athletes are preparing in a farm converted into an official Olympic BMX freestyle training facility. complete with urban park and dirt ramps in the eastern french town of velde livre near reims 12 athletes for each of men's and women's categories will compete in the paris edition of the event up from 9 from each gender in tokyo an odd musical pairing regional mexican folk music with japanese anime has become a hit in mexico and proves that music does cross frontiers Shinigami's Del Norte is a Mexican five-piece band that performs Nortena music a regional musical style from Mexico's northern region but it is doing so with a Japanese twist the band's name Shinigami's Del Norte is itself a cultural amalgamation making reference to supernatural beings from Japanese folklore and words Del Norte from the north in English to mark their Mexican origins in the city of Monterrey according to the Japan Times today the anime industry market overseas is almost as large as that of Japan's learning more about Billie Eilish just got colorful with a new comic book from Tidal Wave Comics The publisher has added the pop star to its Female Four series which celebrates prominent and influential authors, business executives, entertainers, journalists, politicians and activists. In 22 pages, the comic book outlines Alicia's journey from a young dancer to an Oscar winner songwriter. Readers will learn about Alicia's transition from dance to music and the collaboration process with her brother Phineas. The comic will be released on October 10 in digital and print forms. And lastly, we take you to the captivating landscapes of Tawang district in India's northern eastern state of Arunachal Pradesh. This region has not just weathered geopolitical and border clashes with China, but has now emerged as a beacon of development. The locals have hailed the transformative initiatives of the government. Have a look. Nestled amidst lush greenery, the Tawang district of Arunachal Pradesh stands tall at altitudes ranging from 6 to 10,000 feet. Despite being the smallest among the 26 administrative districts of Arunachal Pradesh, Tawang long remained in the shadows. largely ignored by the development wave that swept through other parts of the country China's relentless territorial claims only added to the region's isolation leaving its cries for infrastructural development echoing in the mountains but today the narrative has evolved 
Magochuna village, nestled on the cusp of the Indian-Chinese border, serves as a living testament to the government's resolute commitment to uplift even the remotest and most underdeveloped regions. पहले तो हम लोग का यहाँ गांव में ये रोड नहीं था अभी उसके बाद हम लोग इंडियन ने हम लोग का मदद करके अभी रास्ता भी अभी दो तीन साल से ज़्यादा अच्छा हुआ है तो यहाँ में एजुकेशन के लिए हम लोग का ये हमारा एग्रीकल्चर ऑफिस का तरफ से हम लोग का यहाँ में एकदम ये सब धान खेती यहाँ ही होता है हम लोग का तो अरुणाचल में तो यहाँ में अभी धान बहुत काफ़ी अच्छा होता है और फल वैसे सब्जी भी यहीं होता है हम लोग का ये खर्सने एरिया बोलता है तो हम लोग को गवर्नमेंट तरफ से बहुत मदद मिलता है सर तवांग positioned within rugged mountains and unforgiving terrains once limited mobility but that's now a story of the past residents today enjoy hassle free transportation uninterrupted water and electricity supplies the landscape is dotted with ambitious projects rejuvenating not only agriculture but the region's entire infrastructure Moreover, spirited events like the town's marathon provide a delightful respite from daily routines and serve as launch pads for those who dream of brighter tomorrows. आजकल तो बहुत अच्छा हो गया पहले तो कुछ नहीं था हम लोग जंग जाने से भी तीन दिन चार दिन ऐसे लग जाता था आने जाने में आजकल तो एक दिन में पहुंच जाता है सर Tawang's allure has always been its picturesque beauty but this very charm lured intruders who sought to make it their own Despite these challenges the region marches on with unfaltering determination Ye last village mein yahan se abhi 4-5 km aage jaane ke baad last chana border hai to yahan mein kafi benefit aaya hua hai abhi aaj se 8-9 saal pehle to yahan pe koi sadak bhi nahi tha ghar road nahi tha अभी दोनों साइड से ऊपर से भी एक रास्ता है इंडियन आर्मी और बी आर ओ के थ्रू वो यहाँ पहुँचा है अभी नीचे से यहाँ से पी एम जे एक रोड है जो हमारा ये पेमाखंड सरकार के अंदर में ये स्टेट को डेवलपमेंट के अंदर में एक रास्ता यहाँ से आया है आज यहाँ से जंग जाने के लिए हमको दो या तीन दो घंटा में पहुँचाता है What were once seen as backward and primitive areas are now taking joint strides toward development. The government's relentless efforts extend to every corner of the state, promising a brighter future for all. And that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback on myindia at anin dot com. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra, and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.